What's up, guys? My name is Cove, and it is time for Game of the Week, as it is Monday, once again. I'm pretty sure today is Monday. So, how have you guys been? Obviously, we're playing the uh, C45 on Save Haven. I know the name of the maps. Um, so I've had a busy um, week work-wise, so that would be why there was no second video last week. And so, yeah, here we are with the back-to-back uh, -back Game of the Week videos, which doesn't normally happen, so. Unfortunately, I didn't communicate that very well to anyone that I wasn't going to be here for long. So we smacked the shit out of a Super Pershing and an AE Phase 1. Now, on the thumbnail, I'm probably going to put that this tank is broken because it is in weird ways, right? As we get shot in the side by an L-432 there. But we're still going to try and make pressure for these... Uh, the heavy Desante, the enemy Desante, sorry, I should say. The Char and the uh, Super Unfortunately for this Char, we're gonna just chuck him out in the open and I believe, yeah, I'm gonna kill him. So now we are a minute and a half into the game and we have the 1600 damage on a kill and uh, things are already starting to look up for us. Uh, our team is finally starting to scout. The uh, crossing, which allows us to put up a big, uh, not really a big, it's just a 346 into the LT432, which is always pretty fun. Now, um, so what's good about the Basante, right? It's 10 degrees of gun depression, uh, cheaped and style turret with very small cupola and like no real weak point on the front of it uh, the upper hole is pretty good also uh, however the bad thing about this tank is most certainly the gun handling uh, basically everything about the gun handling of this tank is pretty uh, garbage the mobility is not, it's not great, but it's not, it's not so bad that it nerfs the tank. Um, uh, the DPM, if you're firing more than one of your magazine, is horrendous. It does have the shell compensation mechanic, which is um, nice, I guess. It's nice in certain situations where you just like have to fire a shell because you're getting rushed by a tank or something. Uh, and you don't have the time to do the full reload. Just kind of cut your reload down. Partially aim shot ends up killing the KPZ 07 RH. And if I'm not mistaken, you saw the shell competition kind of. Uh, always nice. I'm mean, gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure how the shell competition works. This replay also looks bugged, so. Oh, there we go, now it's working correctly. The hindsight here is I should have just waited on that last shell to go into the magazine before I went around the corner on the uh, 777. But we're just gonna put in shells consistently and slowly now. Um, so I will probably be making a video on the new update this week. Um, when I went to go record this video this morning, I had to update all of my graphics drivers on my graphics card. Um, 
in order to even record. So that was tons of fun. It took about an hour to do that for whatever reason. Uh, also, if I don't make another video this week, it was it would be because there are like three massive storms coming towards me with uh, quite scary potential. Uh, they're going to end up having tornadoes, severe thunderstorms, all kinds of stuff. Because welcome to Tornado Alley is what the weather is going to be saying to me in the next couple of days. Now, we're driving towards the SD-1 here because we have no chance of getting to that Indian Panzer. Um, good thing is, is this is, um, this is apparently not a very good SD-1 play. As that shell pins and doesn't pin at the same time, and we win the game. So, I'll see you guys back in the garage. And we're back in the garage with the stats of the post game um i don't know if i end up even top on damage in this game okay yeah, i do um i don't don't know if i hit an enemy tank or an allied tank or something but feels like 4300 should have definitely been a high caliber considering um what everybody else was able to achieve on my team and the enemy team but anyway this is my ace for the Bizante which is um, weird, to say the least. I guess it was against Tier 9s, and I did pick up two, three kills on Tier 9s, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Seven pens against Tier 9s, so, yeah. It kind of adds up. Uh, ace for 1,500 base... For 4,400 damage and 5 kills with 148 tracking damage, I believe, against the... Nope. Well, it is tracking damage, just not against the char, which is what I was about to say. Um, you can actually make credits in the Sante. Don't know... Uh, a lot of people can't because... Uh, Sante is kind of one of those tanks where you feel the need to fire gold because it's not like the Renegade in the fact that the Renegade has like 230 millimeters of pin on its standard rounds, the Sante has 218, so that does kind of suck. Uh, also, you are you don't want to bounce shells on the Sante, so a lot of people just elect to fire the premium rounds with 270 millimeters of heat pin, so... Uh, shovel velocity on the standard round is pretty good though. So, anyway, sorry, this is uh, probably going to be a pretty shitty commentary, but I'm uh, currently getting rusty. So, or currently knocking off the rust from the videos, uh, from making videos, not making videos, I should say. And, uh, yeah, we also got 25 bonds out of this game, which is always nice. Uh, anyway. Uh, this is going to be the worst video of the week, by the way. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's also the only series where I can have a bad video, so. Um, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.